As far as what you're truly desiring, um, your current objective, what's going to be important for you in the month of October, we have the beautiful temperance card. And the temperance card is uh, ruled by Sagittarius. So some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the main theme of this card is about moderation. This is, it's interesting because we are moving into the time period of Libra and Libra is all about learning how to balance the emotions, not giving too much, not giving too, too little. And I feel like Aries this month, you're really determined to relax. <laughs> you're really determined to say, you know what? I know that I like things done quickly. I know that normally I'm used to getting things done, you know, in a fast manner, but I'm really, my goal this month and what I am finding important is to just chill. I just, I realize that there's like an awareness that you need to step back. You need to allow some time to pass that, you know, Rome was not built in a day that everything doesn't have to be done today. And I feel like you're, you're, you're reflective this month, Aries. Um, and you can kind of see this with this lady, just kind of stepping back, letting the waters refresh her, you know, taking a deep breath in pausing, uh, you know, considering where she has been, where she is going. And, and this is a beautiful energy for you because obviously normally Aries, you are the one that is moving forward, you know, intensely, passionately, boldly. But I feel that for some of you this month, you're going to realize that balance and diplomacy and compromise is important for you. Now, this is probably affecting your relationships. Maybe it's affecting your business deals, your goals, your aspirations. But I just, I feel that, and maybe it's because it's the time of Libra. So there's like this knowledge of having a give and take. There's this knowledge that you are aware now that you have to balance your emotions. Have you been being too aggressive? Have you been pushing your agenda too much? Is it time to step back, to pause, to reflect? And I feel like you're going to really try to be a little more conscientious of rushing into things like granted that is the natural tendency to kind of get really excited about things but i i feel that you're going to kind of pause and reflect before you you know you're going to check your gut you're going to check your intuition is this really what i want to do you're going to do a double gut check you know you might have in the last month or in the beginning of october actually already taken this time but i feel like you're doing this because you're going to gain insights you're going to gain information that's going to help you with the people around you, the situations around you and what's coming up for you. So I feel like this is super healthy for you, Aries. This is super positive. Um, you're really, this is a very strong healing energy surrounding you. And I feel that you're quite open to it here in the month of October. Okay. So what you're identifying with, um, we actually have what you're valuing. We have the six of wands. So a strong fire energy here. Now the six of wands, this is about the reward. And so what I feel is happening here, Aries, is that you have this beautiful faith about you. You have this beautiful optimism that knows that, you know, you are going to be successful no matter what you do. And this is like a really spiritual time for you because by you pausing, by you stepping back, even when you're tempted to rush in and to move forward, you're really acting in wisdom. You're really balancing out your energies. And this is saying that you're doing this because you have such a strong confidence of your reward. You can feel it. You can smell it. You know that you're, you know that you're on a roll. You know that you're onto something here. And this is just another card about um, being willing to tweak being willing to make a change if necessary. I feel like you're just, you're not set in, or stuck and, you know, things have to be done this way or that way. I feel that you're more flexible. Maybe things have happened where you just realize that sometimes, you know, our way is not the only way. Yes, it's a great way and it works, but you're really listening to other people's opinions about maybe this should be tweaked. I mean, granted, this is an energy where you are being successful in what you're doing, 
But if someone comes along that has some really good advice or has some input that resonates with you, you are open to receiving this. You're open to tweaking your, your methods. And, and I also feel that you're expected this month. You know that there still may be some work involved. We are at a six and a six has, you've definitely taken actions in some area of your life. And it's like, you know, that victory is assured. You don't know exactly when, because this is the card where, you know, you might least expect it. It might come when you're not even looking, but you are definitely confident that it's going to come nevertheless. And this is also Aries. This is very, it's well-deserved. So you can see this farmer here. He's been out with his sickle. He's been cutting the hay. He's been out on a hot day doing the work. So I feel that you have been working towards your goals. You've been working towards your dreams and you know that that reward is on its way to you. So this is what you're identifying with. You're identifying with people that first of all, acknowledge your efforts that acknowledge and recognize the hard work that you have put in. They recognize that you are, you're good at what you do. You have uh, something to show for it and your confidence. They recognize your confidence. So this is your energy and this is what you're also relating to and, and identifying with. And what's also cool about this card, Aries, is that you're open to surprises. I feel like you're not just saying this is how things have to be. I want this in a box and it has to come to me this way. There's a positive expectancy, but you're also flexible with how that's going to happen. And I feel the universe is saying is that it's going to be a surprise when you least expect it. And other people are going to acknowledge they'll be aware of your efforts and what you have produced. Okay. So the possible challenge this month, very interesting. We have another very similar card to the six of wands. We have the three of wands, another strong fire energy. So right off the bat, we have very strong fire. Now the three of wands is all about your growth and development. So even though I feel like you are really trying to be more, you know, resonating with your higher frequencies, you're trying to step back the challenge and the illusion or possible distraction is this growth. And it might just be that things are taking longer <laughs> than you had hoped or wanted or expected. You know, sometimes the things that we're seeking, they are on their way to us, but the universe and God has a way of growing and building our character. And so this is about you trying to understand what do I need to do? Like you have this hunger and this thirst. What are the exact steps that I need to take to make this thing a reality? And this might trip you up a little bit. Um, it's not that what you're doing is not working. It's just that you, you know, the timing may be off. So I feel like you're really going to be grasping and seeking. And maybe that's why you're taking so much time to step back. Uh, you know, and pause and reflect so that you can become spiritually in tune because the three here is about growth and development of your plans and your dreams. And it's about the awareness of the exact steps to take to get to your goal. And so I'm just getting that. It's not that you're not doing the right thing. It's the timing It's that the season may not be exactly right because we have the three here. So it's early in the season you know, it's winter time. There's no fruit on the trees yet. And it's about faith and belief, which you have that, but it's about taking those steps and you might have to take it longer than you had thought. So even though I feel like you're on the right track, this is going to test you Aries. You are going to have to rely on, you know, higher power, God, your spirit, your intuition, because it will test you. This is about more work is necessary before you move forward. So therein lies the challenge. You know, Aries wants to move forward now. It doesn't want to have to wait. So having the wisdom and the knowledge to know when that perfect time is, is going to be, you know, where you are tested. Okay. So as far as the path to fulfillment, the strategies to be made, very interesting. Seven of swords. And this is just totally in line with everything else in your reading. This is the card of hope. And probably the biggest test for Aries is, is allowing the fire, the passion to burn brightly for an extended period of time, not burning your fire out, 
Okay. So not like being all at once, but not having enough fire to keep you going. Okay. That's the challenge because you have this tunnel. The light is at the end of the tunnel Aries, but there's a process to go through here. Uh, it's going to take time to reach that goal. But once again, what this is asking you to do is to rely upon that unshakable faith, that unshakable guarantee that if you are doing the right thing and you stay persistent and patient, you will be successful. This is challenging you to overcome any obstacle with willpower and patience. Those are the two key terms. So your determination and patience, it is a sword. So this does have to do with your thoughts, your mindset, how you're thinking about your problems, how you're thinking about your goals and your dreams. And this may be the biggest battle here, Aries might be in your mind. Maybe, you know, on the outside, you're doing everything right. But the universe is saying, make sure that your, your mindset is in tune and in line with what you're really going for. Don't give up. Don't give in. It's saying, you know, be careful of what you're thinking. Be careful of what you're saying, how you're speaking. And you might have to attain more skills to get to this goal. And even though it may seem like torture, <laughs> you have to remember that this is building character. Okay. So even though it's a test, know that your character is being increased. So, I mean, I cannot emphasize this enough, Aries. This is crazy. So as far as the right attitude for yourself and for others, now we have the world. I mean, this is almost confident, so confident, it's almost conceit. <laughs> but, you know, it, this is healthy because this is the world. So as far as your mindset, your the way you react to yourself and to others, this is saying, I got it guys. I got this covered. Like you're seeing the big picture here, Aries. And that is one thing that you are excellent at is that just keep focusing on this picture, all these puzzle pieces you're putting together one at a time. And you know that you're close. You know that you're right there. You have that puzzle piece, lock that baby into place and you've got your beautiful dream come true. That's what this is about. This is like knowing and, and acting towards others. So if you run across resistance, if you run across someone that, you know, just says, Hey, I don't think you can do that or whatever. This is like, you know, I know I'm on the precipice of something great. I know that I'm going to fulfill my hopes and aspirations, you know, and there is here Aries, there is a humility in this card because lessons have had to be learned in order to get to this point. This has not just been handed to you or this will not be handed to you. So, you know, sometimes we think that if we get everything we want, we'll be happy. But if we don't get the wisdom along with it and the humility, you know, it's like pride can come before a fall. So this card is about knowing that you have to learn lessons to, to gain your goals. There are obstacles that will be overcome but it's a beautiful confidence and belief in yourself and God and the universe that your dreams are about to come true. And the other thing is this is kind of like delighting in what you already have achieved. So they're obviously here, whatever this is for you, relationships, financial health, uh, business goals, dreams, aspirations. I do sense that there's been an accomplishment here. You have made progress and the universe is saying, you know what? Delight in that. You don't have to achieve it to be happy. You can enjoy the process. You can enjoy what you have already achieved. So that is the attitude to have for yourself and others. Okay. So the outcome or the realization, <laughs> uh, we have the six of swords. So another sword energy, I feel like you're either dealing with a fire energy, uh, Aries, Sag or Leo this month or an air sign, a Gemini, Aquarius or Libra. This is about increased opportunities for you. And it's probably going to be of a social networking, connecting with others nature. But once again, the universe is saying, be cautious, do not jump into this. As you can see, it's like, look before you leap. You don't want to just jump in or rush into something that's not going to be beneficial to you. You really need to check your gut. You really need to check, you know, you have such a big heart and you're very trusting and you want to give everyone the benefit of the, the, the doubt. Uh, but I feel like here you do need to be a little bit more cautious. There are going to be new opportunities coming in for you, but just make sure that they resonate. You don't have to say yes to everyone and you don't have to say no to everyone. This month is not a time to take too many unnecessary risks. And I know that, you know, some risks, you know, are 
are fun, but anything that's unnecessary, you know, the universe is saying, just reflect, just take time, make sure this is right for you. And then lastly, what this is saying is that, you know, if things have been difficult for you, Aries, they're going to get smoother. If you've been having to learn a lot of lessons, which is only proving to strengthen your character or teach you a lesson, it is going to ease off. But just know that it's not going to be all or nothing. It's going to ease off. So still be cautious. So overall, I think October is going to be a very balancing month for you. I feel like you're really going to pause and you're going to kind of go against your nature. So I think that's huge. And I think it's going to build a lot of character and you'll be tested, but it's really going to increase your faith in yourself in God, in your plans. And I think great things are on the way for you, Aries.